Hey, how's it going? It's Ari here and welcome back to day number three in the Save and Earn training series right here on the AJS channel. Very excited to have you back here. Uh, this video is going to be where we start officially taking action, start getting traffic to your link, and of course, start getting leads and sales, hopefully as quickly as possible in the most newbie friendly way as possible. So very excited to, of course, dive in. Um, I want to mention real quick, if you missed any of the previous videos in this series, you'll want to make sure to go to the, the uh, playlist link that's going to be somewhere down below to this uh, playlist here. And if you missed any of the previous videos, you'll want to simply go back and watch them. So like I mentioned, this is day three that we're on. If you missed day zero, one or two, you'll simply want to go through, get caught up. And assuming that you are watching this video and you're fully caught up, then you may proceed on with this video, right? So that, and also if you're not subscribed, make sure that you're subscribed so that this way you can be notified of all future videos on this channel and in this series right here. So without further ado, let's get into today's agenda, which is uh, this video is going to be, be primarily about uh, 15 second traffic. Bit of a recap. By this point, you should have a custom domain set up and a TikTok account, hopefully uh, set up by this point. So custom domain as in I go here, I type in uh, secret profit system. This is my domain that I bought. And then of course leads me to one of the TFT funnels. And then of course, when someone goes through that link, they go through here, they click the button, they can get signed up specifically through me, as you could see right here. So you should have this set up again. If not, go back, go to day two, watch that video, get that set up. And then once you do so, uh, come back here. And then we'll simply proceed on from there. So what exactly is 15 second traffic? Uh, the short answer is this is pretty much where we leverage platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, although it doesn't let me show reels on Facebook, um, YouTube shorts and all that good stuff. Pretty much all of your short form platforms where it's vertical stuff, uh, you know, vertical shape videos, um, less than 60 seconds long. And this is going to be pretty much the gateway to your business, right? Short form videos are pretty much the way on how to get people in the door. And that's really the best way to get started. So uh, pretty much how this works, and I'll kind of give a very brief, very quick uh, little introduction to this. Uh, how this works is, I want to make sure this is working, hopefully. Yes, it is. Okay, so we do a video. Typically on average, uh, majority of the ones that I do are 15 seconds at max. So 15 seconds video. And by the way, if you have never done videos before, and if you're watching this, like, oh my God, no, I got to do videos. I got to, you know, get myself out there. Well, don't worry about that. I'm going to make this as easy for you as possible. Even if you're someone who's brand new, even if you hate doing videos, even if you hate the idea of having your face on camera or speaking on camera, I'm going to help you with all of that. And I'm going to help you get up and running even if you have these objections, right? So how it works, this is the format right here. We have a 15 second video, um, pretty much does a quick promotion. And at the end, you give a call to action to your domain link that you bought. So your, um, your domain link, and then someone watches this video, they go here and that link takes them over to the funnel. So the capture page. And by this point, you should pretty much know the rest. They opt in here. And then of course they go through the process and anyone who watches this video right here, the sales video, and they click the button that I showed right here. And they of course get signed up to one of the membership packages that you see right here. That is of course where you get paid the commission of either 10, 50 or even a hundred bucks, depending on the level that they buy in at. So that's pretty much the, the process there and how exactly that works. And as I mentioned, 15 second traffic, I call it that because 15 second videos or less. That's primarily what we'll be focusing on now. I want to talk about the fear of making videos. You know, if you're someone who has never done videos before, if you're brand new to this, if you hate the idea of getting on camera, I want to make this as easy for you as possible and also show you a way on how you could potentially make videos without even speaking if you don't want to do that or and slash or without showing your face. So I'll show you a little uh, thing for that right there. So I want to talk about the fear of making videos, right? So um, as far as making videos goes, right? And I want to really um, talk to you as if I'm like, I guess, talking to my old self, right? Oh, 
you know, if you've been, well, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you, um, you, you probably see me as like, okay, well, this guy's really good at doing videos. So obviously like, you know, you know, it, it's easy for him to, to recommend this when he has all this experience, right? Well, I at one point was the exact same way, uh, for a very long time for about like a full year, like my first year online, I tried to do everything, anything and everything to avoid doing videos. And so where I got my initial breakthrough online was by doing videos. Now, the good news with you is that um, as it pertains to the method of videos that we'll be doing, uh, it's a lot faster to get results nowadays than it was, you know, with the type of videos that I was doing a few years back, right? I was doing these long form YouTube videos, 10 plus minutes long. I would upload for like, three months straight, get like, you know, less than a hundred views per video and it took me months to get my first sale. You on the other hand, um, I want the opposite to be, you know, in your case, you know, hopefully you can, of course, I can help you get up and running within the first month. And if I can even help you get your first sale or multiple sales within your first month or even first week, then that would be absolutely phenomenal, right? So the thing that I really want to put out there as it pertains to making videos, even if you're someone who's who's nervous, even if you're brand new, even if you um, are, you know, have insecurities about like maybe you have, um, you know, you're insecure about your looks or whatever the case is, I promise you none of that matters because people resonate with those who have, you know, flaws, right? And so if you are just starting out, right, and let's say that you're brand new, right? People are obviously gonna sense that you're brand new at making videos. However, I'm going to explain that uh, this is a good thing for you because um, people wanna see that um, that what you're doing is duplicatable. So especially when it comes to things like what we're doing right here, promoting you know, a, a program that helps you earn residual income online, um, people wanna see that this is of course duplicatable, right? And so when you as a complete newbie go out there and you put out videos and you use a very simple video formula that what, what I'm gonna show you, um, then this is going to help the person who is watching your videos, you know, trust in what you're doing a lot more because they see like, hey, if this person can do it, then obviously I can do it as well. Now, me personally, I don't have that advantage uh, that you will because I've been doing this for a while. And so it would be easy for people, you know, watching me to think, okay, well, this guy obviously has, you know, tons of experience. He has all these followers, but you know, I don't have any of that. So I'm not going to be able to get results, right? You, on the other hand, you're starting from complete scratch and people will see you as someone that they could simply, you know, replicate off of, right? The other thing that I want to mention as it pertains to doing videos, and this is another limiting belief that people have is that, um, you know, in regards to like follower count or, um, you know, like follower count, like income, uh, you know, like, you know, like income that you're currently getting, right? And so I want to also, uh, break down that as well, right? Uh, follower count does not always equal to more revenue, right? It doesn't always equal, equate to more sales, right? You could have like this massive following of like, you know, 10K or even like 100K followers on any given platform. And, you know, that could still, you know, that, that doesn't necessarily equate to creating a full time income online because, you could have a massive audience of people that, you know, don't really care about what you're doing, or you could have a very targeted, very small, but very loyal audience of, let's say a thousand followers or less of people that know, like, and trust you. They are, you know, huge fans of you, right? So, um, you know, that's really the, the benefit that I want to put out there. And as, and as it pertains to platforms like these, um, you could still have, you could still get quite a lot of views, even with zero followers, which is really the benefit with these platforms as it pertains to like, you know, compared to like starting a YouTube channel, for example, right? So those are the things that I really want to put out there as it pertains to making videos. And the number one most important thing that I want you to really keep in mind is that, um, I want, you, I want to ask you a very harsh question, right? And that is, do you want to get results? or do you want to stay where you're at, right? So if you want to, of course, get results as soon as possible, you have to be willing to get a little bit uncomfortable, right? The more you can stretch yourself, the more you can decide, okay, I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna try this out, I'm gonna you know, go all in with this, that is what will help you get up and running with this, right? So I wanna show you a way on how to create videos without talking and or showing face, right? And so the easiest way to get started as it pertains to making videos um, specifically with our team and what we have right here. Uh, just recently, within the past few days, 
uh, one of the top earners, uh, Kirsty, uh, actually messaged me and asked me to help with uh, like a thing that you know pretty much us as a team are putting together. Pretty much all the leaders in this team, all the top earners, and so I was one of those people that was asked to uh, contribute to this. And basically, what that is is it is a um, a uh, file on Google Drive, and you could actually get access to, the, to this by going to the Facebook group, the Funnel Team. Just go down to the Features section, scroll to the right a bit, and then right here, you will see where it says TFT Videos to Clone. Now, if you want to get started in the simplest way possible, you'll want to, of course, click on here, um, and then this will give you access to videos that you can simply replicate that are easy to make and also ones that have been proven to get results, right? So there's actually two of them. There's this file right here that you could check out, and then there's another one which is actually the one that I contributed to, which is uh, Black Friday Clonable SFV, so short form videos. And I'm gonna include, include the link to both of these down below in the description. So you could just go there, request access to your Google Drive account, and then uh, you'll simply have all these videos that you could replicate off of. Now, specifically with this one, uh, you have videos that have the voice in them, and then there's other videos in here that are just uh, with text bubbles. So basically what that means is it just music in the background, there's no speaking on the video, and then the entire message is displayed in text format. So I'll show you exactly what I mean right here. Um, so you'll see videos from Kirsty, from Jason Jordan, uh, Catherine. There's a few videos from me right here. We have uh, Jamie, met her in Atlanta, and a few other people, but yeah. So mainly myself, Jason Jordan, Catherine, uh, Jamie, and then Kirsty, and then I think there's some from Daniel in here as well, right? So just to give you an idea, right, if I click on one of these, uh, let's go to Jamie's video right here. So what you'll notice here, I want to mute this because because of copyright. Um, what you'll notice here, this is a six second video at max. And so all it has is it just has text on screen. So you just see her looking at her phone or laptop or not sure. I think that's her phone or another like tablet or something that she has. Um, and then it's pretty much just text on the screen for a few seconds. When society tells you this, go to, you know, do this. And then who dares to break that mold? So it's like a little hook. And then uh, we scroll a bit here. And then <laughs> hold my Dr. Pepper. I like this one a lot. Um, and then um, my own boss. So this is like the transformation type video. So go from this to this, my own boss, one hour per day, work one hour per day, create passive income, uh, join me, and then her call to action is write a comment in this video. Now, me personally, I like to include a call to action of either go to the link, which will be you point up here, and you have your link displayed up here that you have uh, set up where it goes to your, uh, your funnel, either that or something like uh, DM me. So send me a direct message, People can send you a message and then you could either send them the link directly or you could have a quick uh, chat with them before sending them the link to see if they're, you know, like a good fit, right? Um, you could do that or you could do like comment info and then when they comment info, just say congrats, go to, and then you include your link that way. That's a really great way to get lots of engagement. But anyways, um, regardless of what, you know, how you go about it, these videos right here are very easy to replicate, even if you're brand new. And I'm actually gonna show you a live demonstration of myself putting together one of these videos so that even if you're brand new, you could pretty much replicate um, uh, what I'm doing right here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up uh, this app that I have here called Vicer, and I'm gonna connect my mo mobile device. So in a few seconds, you should see my mobile screen. There we are there. And so what I will do is I will go into my, um, let me actually turn off, Nightlight. Okay. That looks much better. So um, what I recommend is you want to have a few apps installed in your device. Uh, TikTok, obviously. Instagram for Instagram Reels. YouTube for YouTube Shorts. Uh, YouTube Studio. This will be like useful if you decide to start up a YouTube channel where you post long form content. You can see your analytics in there. Uh, so they have an app specifically for that. Um, Pinterest, I know, has a version of TikTok as well, although I haven't really used it too much. Um, and then the app that I highly recommend is an app called CapCut. And this is primarily where I film pretty much all of my short form videos. I film them all in here 
and then I take the video that I made in here and I post them to all the other platforms. So I post the same video that I make here, post it to TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube Shorts as well. And I'm gonna give you a live demonstration on how to create one of these videos, right? So here you see my face right here, there I am. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna find a video to pretty much replicate. So I could do, um, where was I? So I could either do Jamie's video or uh, let's do one that's like, let's see. Let me see this one real quick. Nine second video. Starting my own business brand. Place my income. Being succeeded again. Okay. So this video, just all one clip, nine seconds. And you could literally just do the same thing. So I'm just going to do, um, we could add a sound in here if we want. Um, and so as it pertains to um, like adding sounds, you don't necessarily have to like overthink this, just pick something that is either trending or something that, you know, sounds good to you. Um, so if I go through here, yeah, Sunrise is a popular one. So I could just select that. And then basically all you have to do is just film yourself for a certain amount of time. I like to do exact same time as the video that I'm modeling right here. I'm gonna pull this back up. Okay, there I am. So yeah, just uh, find the sound it is up at the top of the screen. Find the one that you wanna use. So sunrise and then duration. And then I'm just gonna start the video. And then as you're doing this, you could literally just look into the camera for you know five to 10 seconds. And then you could pretty much add in the text and then that's pretty much it. So, okay. So notice what I did there. I was pretty much looking into the camera, kind of bobbling my head, kind of pointing where I would put like text on the screen and then like a, you know, pointing below my face as well. And so I'm just gonna hit the check mark here. And so this is the video that I filmed, it has the uh, sound in the background. And so this is a way to do this without, um, um, you know, like speaking, if you don't wanna speak. As it pertains to like, um, if you don't want to show your face, uh, which I recommend, you know, definitely try to do that. Um, if you really don't want to show your face and you just want to get something out there and you're not comfortable getting on camera just yet, um, you could even just point it to like a wall and just have all the text displayed there. Otherwise, I recommend try to get out your comfort zone, show your face. Um, people will trust you more if you are showing yourself as a real person. And uh, that's the thing that I would recommend right there. But if you really don't want to, you could do a video without showing your face and without speaking and just adding text on the screen if you want to do that, right? So anyways, I'm going to go back to, um, let me move this over here. So I'm going to do this. This is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put the video back here. Um, okay. Starting my own business brand. All right, so I hit text up here. See, every time I click off, that goes away, which kind of annoys me. Starting my own online business. I'm actually gonna kind of edit this here. And so best thing that I could recommend as it pertains to learning uh, like this CapCut app is just, you gotta go through it experience it yourself, try filming a video, and then just kind of play around with it a bit. And then uh, the more you do that, then the more you'll get used to, you know, CapCut up. Um, if you don't want to use CapCut, you could record videos inside of TikTok if you want using their recorder and editor. Um, I used to do that. And then the reason I switched over to CapCut is just, I find it easier to just film everything in one app, take that video, post on other platforms. And then, whereas if I do it in TikTok, it's in their platform and then if a video gets taken down then i lose access to that video that i made whereas i make it in here it's in the app i could just easily download it to my device without any watermark and then i could just post it on any um any uh platform uh, let's see laptop starting my own laptop business and so this is the text on here now what you'll want to do here is add a uh, background or make sure that the text is visible. So you could either add like this, you know, like a stroke around the text, kind of like that, and then you could change the color as you go. 
And then what I like to do is I like to add like a background. The Okay, that's better. <laughs> yeah, that'll look kind of weird. Um, you could even change the font if you want to do that. So they have a few you could choose from here. Uh, let's see, starting my own biz and then have that displayed for a few seconds there. Okay. What's our next text thing? Replaced my income as um, PME, PMU artist. Paint my, I'm um, not too familiar with that industry. Okay, so that, and currently right now I'm not like talking as much. That's mainly just because I'm focused on this. And so um, I figured having my phone up like this, you can kind of watch me as I do this and then kind of get an idea in terms of how to pretty much use this app. So uh, replaced my, nine two five income and by the way um you could pretty much customize the verbatim in here to um you know that kind of resonates more with you and so that's kind of the thing that i would recommend so you kind of have to get a little bit creative but you know as long as you do that then you know that's really the best way to get started i replaced my nine to five um see and then there's even like other fonts you could look into as well I like that one a lot. Make it smaller, just do this. And then right about here at the end of the video, I'm gonna add a text box at the bottom of the screen. And then that'll be like my call to action, right? Um, let's help you do the same. Let's help you do the same. If any of this uh, looks overwhelming, huh, don't worry about that. Uh, the most important thing is simply getting into action. And the more you do this, the more you'll kind of find your routine. That's really the most important thing. Um, the first time I did this, it was kind of like, okay, I see all this stuff in the app and it just seems overwhelming to me. So, um, you know, try not to get overwhelmed with everything that I'm showing you here. If, if you're brand new to this, it might be easier said than done, but best thing, just go through, you know, try and implement it as, as uh, best as you can. And then the more you do this, the easier it will pretty much become. So let's help you do the same. And then I, here I could either have my call to action. I just either put my link if I want to do that, or I could just have, um, say like, you know, DM me, right? I'm going to move this up a bit. Okay. Um, and I actually have a few different, um, forwarding domains. This one is specifically to my YouTube series. So that's what I like to do. I like to send my traffic from here, from these platforms over to a YouTube series. And then I just send them there. And then in that series, I then, and you might've noticed this as well, if you came through there and <laughs> signed up that way. Um, so that's just one thing I like to do. Otherwise, in your case, you just put your link to your funnel and then you can just start getting traffic that way as well. Uh, so that, what is with this app? I swear, okay. <laughs> it's kind of glitching on me, which is kind of annoying me. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of all this and I'm just going to have the link itself. Just have some arrows maybe. And just like that, that is the video. So let me play this all the way through. Let's help you do the same. And then pretty much the call to action is go to that link and learn how, you know, learn how you do it too. So then once you're done, you just hit the arrow in the top right and it'll just export it to your device. And then from here, you could take that video and you could pretty much upload it on pretty much all the different platforms like that. So we open up TikTok right here. This is one of my TikTok accounts. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them currently, or six of them. I had seven, but I think one of them got banned actually. I don't see it on here. <laughs> so that that's one thing that kind of happens from time to time. If that ever happens, just create another one. You know, nothing really too much to worry about. And then click the plus at the bottom. You could take your video and then just simply uh, upload it here. You see some pictures of me trying on this heated jacket. <laughs> uh, there's that. Like that. And so um, right here, you'll notice like you have all the different like editing options. So TikTok, you, up, you could uh, pretty much add in any edits. This is mainly like if you're making a video in TikTok. But if you filmed it in CapCut, you don't have to worry about any of this stuff right here. So we pretty much did all that. Click Next. And then here, 
this is where I want to talk about uh, finding hashtags to use that are specific to your um, to your video, right? So one thing that I will recommend, and this is something that I like to do, I use an app called Evernote, and um, I actually have all of my hashtags that I like to use for each specific platform. And uh, what you could do is you could just come up with a list of hashtags that you just put in for your specific video. Just save them in a notepad. And then uh, whenever you wanna upload it, you could just take your hashtags for that platform, click copy. And then if you want, you could just simply just, you know, paste them right in there. And then I do this for the other platforms like Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube as well, and then I have that, you know, along with my link in there, right? So um, to show you, well, I'll show you pretty much how to come up with hashtags. Basically, you just hit the hashtags button, and then you want to come up with hashtags that are relevant to the topic. In this case, it's make money online, online business, that type of stuff. So if we just type in things like um, online business, it'll just bring up a list of hashtags that you could use in your videos. So I like to add, you know, around like five to seven hashtags that are relevant to your niche. And what I recommend is try to find ones that have um, 200K views or less. So, you know, any of these ones like online business, like these very broad, it's kind of, you know, kind of think of it like um, if you've ever done like YouTube or like blogging, you know, it's kind of similar to like keywords. So that's pretty much what this is. Um, so these like, you know, very broad ones that have like a massive, you know, view count. You don't want to use these, especially if you're brand new, because, um, you know, there's already tons of videos competing for that particular hashtag tag. So there's lots of traffic, but there's too many videos competing for it. So as a brand new creator, you want to start with the, um, what you would consider the low hanging fruit. And so to do that, you just want to come up with, you know, longer ones. So online business for beginners, um, 2022, 2023. Okay, that's a good one. So 216,000 views. Pretty good. Online business for beginners. Um, rat race, 21,000 views. So you could use that. Uh, 2020, although I wouldn't recommend using any ones that are 2020, but like this one, for example, um, you know, about 200K views. Uh, you could do something like um, high income skills or high income skills for life. And these are pretty much just ones that I'm, you know, coming off the top of my head right here. Earn an income, earn an income from home. So these two right here from home and online, these are really good ones to use. Um, earn an income, you could use that one as well. And so, you know, you just want to come up with some of these that you feel resonate with you and ones that are, you know, within that criteria that I specified. Um, you could even do ones that are like, you know, for example, I've seen um, the top earner in SHG do this, uh, Kirsty. I think I mentioned, yeah, Kirsty. I've seen her do this where um, she'll do something like Colorado moms or something, right? So it's specific to like her audience. She wants to target other moms. And so in your case, you could do something like that. So let's say that you're like a, uh, single dad or you, um, you know, you're like a, you know, like teen living alone or something like that. You could find hashtags that are kind of like that and then simply put them in there or you could put in your location, um, Wisconsin, cheese heads or something like that. I'm from Wisconsin. So like that might be something that I would put in, but you know, pretty much the concept is the same. Just come up with a list of hashtags that you want to use and then um, when you, when, once you have a list of them, I would recommend go to like a notepad app and then simply just paste them all in there so that this way for future videos, you could just grab that list of hashtags, just highlight them all, and then simply just copy them and uh, paste them right in here. And then once you have your video complete, um, you could either post it right away by hitting post, or in my case, I like to hit drafts. and. One thing that I like to do personally, as it pertains to doing, you know, posting content daily, and this is something that uh, really helps with staying consistent, I like to batch content a day in advance. So I will record, um, you know, like five videos today, for example, right? 
and then, but I won't post them until tomorrow. And so I do this in advance in case if like, let's say the next day something comes up and I'm unable to film something for that particular day that I'm gonna post those videos, right? And so um, you could either post videos right away if you want, if you wanna get into action as soon as possible, but I like to just batch videos. And so it really depends on, you know, how you wanna go about it. So there's that. And then the next thing I wanna go over here is how to come up with endless video ideas, right? Um, so I went over the hashtags actually, so I went over that first, but um, in terms of coming up with more video ideas, so you could pretty much start off by modeling the uh, videos that you have right here. And so these are all really good videos to clone. I would honestly start with these videos, you know, like ones that, that are given to you because these are specifically um, proven to convert for other members in the funnel team. And so I would also recommend go over to um, Instagram and start following a lot of the people. So for example, Kirsty, Catherine, um, you know, uh, Daniel Comp is another one that you could follow as well. And then uh, start consuming their videos and then try to replicate pretty much what they're doing. So I go to Kirsty, for example, um, you know, I could pull up one sec. VK Snyder, okay. Yeah, so she has two TikTok accounts, right? So, you know, I recommend giving each of these accounts a follow. And then uh, these are all really great, uh, both her and, I'm gonna pull up another one here, Daniel. I model a lot of his videos as well. And so, you know, you could simply get a ton of pretty much endless video ideas just by going through here. And then one other thing that I will show you here, and this is something that I haven't done as much lately, but I used to do quite often, is I would go to the search feed and then just search up something like, um, something like side hustles. And if you've been on TikTok for any amount of time, you've probably seen videos, you know, like this. Here's another side hustle that I'll do with this. And these are known to get lots of views. So you can go to videos, Click the three little, um, the two lines on the top right. Go to posted recently, as in this week or this month, and then sort by most liked. And then this will give you a ton of uh, ideas of videos that have performed very well recently. And what's really great about these, and this is the reason why these videos are very popular in the first place. So <laughs> if you've ever like seen a lot of them being like, okay, these are kind of annoying. Well, this is the reason why you see a lot of them, right? Um, for example, this video here got um, over 12K likes in five days, right? And so basically all it is, you know, here's a side hustle to make X amount, shows the side hustle Apex focus group, and at the end, you know, call to action. In this case, I would not recommend this call to action. Instead, do something like, you know, if you want something even better, if you wanna replace your nine to five income, go right here right now, and then this is where you point to your link that you bought. So that's pretty much how all of that works right there. And then to end this off, I want to pretty much be talking about, you know, what you should be doing on a daily basis. So what I recommend is come up with five videos, find five videos that you could replicate every single day, create them using the CapCut app and pretty much get them at the very least, get them queued up in your, um, in your uh, TikTok account. So ideally you should have um, anywhere from three to five videos in your drafts feed right here. And then each day you post five of those videos on a daily basis. And then after that, you take those five videos and then you repurpose them, you repost them to other platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and then YouTube. And all of that is what we'll be diving into in the next video, which will be pretty much a part two to this. So anyways, hope you got lots of value in this video. If you did, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Give, it, give this a thumbs up if you found that this helps. And um, if there's anything in here that uh, you need additional help on or something that you know didn't quite make sense, uh, feel free to drop a comment down below. Let me know your honest thoughts. Otherwise, stay tuned for day number four. Otherwise, by the time that you're watching this, it might already be up there if you're watching this after I finish the series. So anyways, go to day four, um, and then I will show you in that video how to take your TikTok videos and how to repurpose them to your other platforms. So anyways, go there and 
Take care, all the best.